Thank you very much, uh, Program Director, uh, <coughs> the Acting uh, CEO of uh, Nelson Mandela uh, Foundation, and uh, the Acting, I mean, the CEO of uh, um, Early Care uh, Center Foundation, I was uh, uh, the First Lady, Dr. Uh, Mzipe, uh, and uh, the leadership that uh, gathered here, uh, and uh, our uh, special guest, our VVIPs, the graduates, mm -hmm. uh, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives me a greatest uh, pleasure. I mean, pleasure to uh, speak and stand before this uh, august uh, gathering. And at least indeed, it is a very, very uh, important day where we'll be witnessing 35 uh, practitioners drawn from, uh, I mean, the practitioners drawn from 35 ECD uh, forums uh, in how they graduated mm -hmm. on a very, very important uh, skills program, leadership, which has been uh, since uh, pre-1994 up until to date a big problem in our country where we within the sector where we have seen forums being uh, reduced to uh, rubber uh, stampers not knowing what they are doing uh, copy and paste the constitution that you normally get there at dsd is an example you take it as is then there you go it becomes your uh, the, uh, constitution and then going forward it creates some problems. So I'm glad that this uh, intervention by uh, Nelson Mandela Foundation and the uh, uh, Center, I mean, Early Care Center Foundation, it will definitely, uh, you know, address this problem so that these forums can be uh, truly capacitated so that they can understand uh, the significance of them being autonomous. In other words, for you to remain independent and begin to focus on championing uh, the interest of the ECD sector and then also push vigorously so the agenda of the children and begin to engage with various municipalities, be able to engage with funders, be able to write proposals, be able to solve problems because this is what this leadership program entails. It's a very wonderful uh, skills program, and I so wish that it can be uh, scaled up, and it will be scaled up so that uh, we can uh, roll it at a massive scale so that people they can understand the uh, importance of leadership. Because it is a big problem in the country, not only in the sector, but we have seen it in our communities, even on political spaces. People don't understand what is it all about this uh, leadership and then they eventually end up descending to position of power in other words someone who is not having a substance he find himself or herself in a leadership position and that person cannot be able to interpret the statute that governs yourself and so forth so with you a graduate it becomes very important that you should take this very seriously you should continuously have workshops analyze various legislations that governs your municipalities in your localities understand the municipal financial system act understand the municipal structural system acts and understand the manage the those three legislation because the local government is governed by those three pieces so that you can be able to position yourself and engage with municipalities and, and unlock funding opportunities that may be there and be able to argue to say since early child development is an apex area in this country as it is you know explicitly expressed in the national development plan vision 2030 two chapters speaks about child development and then that makes it an apex area and something when it's an apex area it becomes a funded mandate sensitize leaders in those municipalities to say guys 
We cannot talk about societal building. We cannot talk about societal development without zooming into early childhood development. Any sociological approach that seeks to start at the top, that sociological approach becomes a fallacy. The correct sociological approach is to start on the ground, is to start on the bottom, and then you are rooted in those communities. And then your forum will then become and assume a posture where you'll become a powerful resource for your community. <coughs> and then in this day and age, your services are more much needed where our country uh, is engulfed by chaos, where our country is engulfed by a lot of uncertainties. You need now to provide leadership. You need to step up provide direction, hold workshops and so forth, engage, sensitize communities, make them to understand why early childhood development is important. Because if you don't get it right, colleagues, we'll keep on getting these reports from various credible international and local organizations that says uh, uh, we, our children cannot be able to write, read, uh, com uh, for meaning and uh, uh, without any comprehension. Because we cannot start solving these problems at an intermediate phase. And you cannot start solving these problems at a, found I mean, a senior phase. Mm -hmm. It ought to start in foundation phase. So how would you then be able to address those things if you yourselves being charged with the responsibilities of looking after our children if we are not capacitated. Mm -hmm. So now this gives me a comfort that today we are witnessing you receiving these uh, you know, awards or gradu graduating on leadership. It gives me, and it's, a, it's, a, it's just as a beginning, we need to scale up and be able to sustain it. Mm -hmm. And so Maya, let's ensure that this program is rolled out throughout the country because this need is not only in Gauti, mm -hmm. but it is countrywide, especially uh, in our historically disadvantaged communities. Because I cannot uh, not mention the fact that, yes, there are inequalities, yes, there are unemployment and so forth, but some of these things, they are, you know, structural, systemic, and then now they've got a certain history. I cannot stand before you and begin to be ahistorical and uh, begin to negate our historic realities. Our historic realities is that we have a particular history in this country and uh, this particular history in this country ought to be addressed so that we can begin to foot on an equal footing as a countryman, as country, as citizens of this country. In other words, so my, what I'm saying effectively is that when you look into the geology of early childhood development, prior and uh, I mean pre and prior apartheid era, uh, it shows that uh, we have not been able to transform the early childhood development sector. We find those that were historically disadvantaged, being still in the same position where they were before 1994. And then this becomes an indictment on us as leaders to say, what kind of investments are we making? Is the investment made have any impact? Are these kind of interventions impactful to our communities? And that this gives me comfort, Somaya, because this intervention, it is indeed impactful and practical in nature because these people, they will be able out of this program to write proposals. They will be able out of these things to understand the very same constitution that governs them, to understand what is meant by leadership and that, that can be scaled up 
and uh, ensure that other people they emulate the very same thing and uh, you are then become the civil society the ECT forum because you are a civil society you are a civil society we are not necessarily an extension of government therefore we cannot allow a situation where forums becomes rubber stampers the danger in that Somalia if we are going to allow our ECT forums to become rubber stampers and an extension of government is that we will be weakening this project constitutional democracy in South Africa. Because you see, once the forum remains independent and autonomous, the constitutional democracy as a project will be strengthened because it is these people as forums, as civil society, who will then begin to demand accountability, who will then become demand transparency. You will become agent of change. And you are not going to fall into a trap where you are made to beg for services that ought to be given to you. In other words, you are going to come to the situation where now you are aiding and abating corruption that is so entrenched in this country. And it does goes against the teaching of uh, our father, uh, one of our uh, founding father of this nation, where we are gathered today, Ntate Nelson Mandela Olisar. We are gravitating, we are regressing, because you are not independent, you are finding yourself begging for services. You are finding yourself, even when you need to do something, you must beg. And by so doing, colleagues, you are aiding and abating corruption. And corruption becomes tribe. It becomes rampant. So your duty as forums is to be factual. Your duty as forums is to demand accountability. Your forums in your local communities is to hold those municipal managers, various municipalities, uh, what councillors and so forth, and begin to ask them serious questions. And also take a posture where you become a, a powerful resource for communities. In other words, communities must be able to come to you. You must be able to refer communities to relevant doors. You must be able to educate communities so that communities can be able to know how to channel their grievances using appropriate means within the parameters of the law and begin to demand accountability. And then this uh, rot, if we can take that posture, will come to an end. We owe it to ourselves. And it is through early childhood development that we can be able to uh, demand that to address these societal ills that we are confronted with. I hope you understand my message that it is not a question in Somalia like in other instances where investments are being made but it's just a question of ticking box exercise mm -hmm. but the impact is not measurable. Mm -hmm. And then on our side as the chairperson of this structure that comprises of government and the civil society, ISF, the very same structure that derived its mandate directly from the policy uh, of 20, ECT policy of 2015 and directly from the National Development Plan, Vision 2030 of this country. We are pledging our support. We will create an enabling uh, situation for you and then we will also be behind you. And also in my capacity as Intel Trade Institute Trust, on a pro bono basis, Nabaska, if there are need, uh, uh, so my, if there are needs that are being identified to ensure to it that this program does, you know, uh, get scaled up, we are here to provide that support because we owe it to ourselves. Early child development is not something that is fashionable. Early child development is something that is very serious because it is about human development. Mm -hmm. So with those. Uh, Wait, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I can talk for the rest of the day, especially when I talk about early child development. I would like to pause here and then uh, being thankful for uh, Nelson Mandela 
and the um, the early uh, the early learning center foundation for this kind of investment that it has made and uh, we are running behind it we are going to support it and i know that the whole program is going to be scaled up please take these skills that we have learned because it's just a beginning mm -hmm. and i'm aware this is just a skills program needed to address precisely the old issues that I was referring to earlier on. Take it serious, let it not be a pay path that will gather dust, but there is no impact. <coughs> and then understand, once you begin to serve in the forum, your interest becomes last, but the interest that will supersede your individual interest and that of your ECT center is of the forum in that community, in that locality. In other words, let us not be position mongers, let us not be held bent and be driven by egos. Let us uh, assume or a posture of being servant, because leadership is about service. We are the servant, and that is a greater calling for humanity. And that is what is in line with our purpose of existence as human beings. The purpose is what? Is to serve humanity. And that is what we ought to do. Not being obsessed about peripheral stuff, petty stuff, uh, you know, position and so forth. Leadership is beyond that. Yes. Leadership is beyond that. Then we'll get it correct and it starts there in your local communities and then we build it up and up, up, up until it engulfs the whole country and then the trajectory of this country will change and that which we are desiring as citizens of this country will be realized because we want harmony, we want stability, we want government that will serve us and so forth, we want government that is free of corruption, that will be realized through you. And thank you very, very much uh, Nelson Mandela Foundation and the, the ADK and the foundation for this greatest investment. With those words, thank you very, very much, Colin.